Hi everybody, it's Elise Lonsdale with a very, very quick tutorial. Have you ever found yourself in the situation where you have met somebody at a, at a meeting and you need to exchange details and you don't want to go through all the hassle of typing in that new person's name, their email address and their phone number to your Apple iPhone's address book because it's a lot of cramming around, especially when you're in a noisy environment. Here's a very quick and simple way how to do it. So what you do is you locate your own address card and you should always have your own address card with as many details about your own self in your iPhone. It's a good tip and I'll explain why in another video. You go right down the bottom of that address card, so we'll go share contact. Now the new person that I've met has the unenviable position, is in the unenviable position of being called Palmy01. Hello Palmy01, this is Palmy01's iPhone. So we can share my address card with any of these things like WhatsApp, email, and other applications. So we're just going to click on message. iMessage will come up where we do. Here comes iMessage. So now that Palmy01 happens to be in my address book, otherwise I would just type in their their cell phone number. Uh, P. Well, I'll just do it with a voiceover because I'm vision impaired myself. Why? We've got one match. Palmy One, blind foundation. Palmy One, blind foundation. So I'll tap on Mr. Palmy One. Now there's my card. It's turned up as an attachment. There's a picture of me as well. It's an attachment within the email, uh, within the iMessage. I beg your pardon. So now I send it. Now you don't need to do this with a voiceover, obviously, and it should have gone. There it goes, up on the notification screen, a new message from uh, this particular phone number, which is me. I've clicked on my name, which came as an attachment in the incoming message, and I should be able to add it to Mr. Palmy One's address book. I'm looking for add to existing contact. Well, there's no existing contact, so uh, create new contact, the second one from the bottom. There we go, and now I am there. I've got an ability to edit that contact, which I'm not going to do because I want all those details there for when I'm training clients. And now the only person in this poor unfortunate uh, address book should be, if we have a look under extras and bring up the address book, or the contacts rather, is me. And there I am successfully added to the, um, to the new person's phone uh, address book rather than having to key in all the details manually. And very useful if you happen to be in a noisy environment, if you've met somebody at a Toastmasters or professional meeting, you don't want to go through the rigmarole, just send your own contact card to your new person.